happy VA Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about what a lender overlay is. Okay, so this comes up a lot. People will call me and they'll be like, I had a call today where the gentleman was like, hey Jen, you know, uh, the lender ran my credit, it was 615, so I'm going to work on my score. I'm like, why? He's like, well, because the lender said that unless my credit was at 620, they couldn't do the automated underwriting. Why? Well, that's what he said that we had to do. That's a lender overlay. Okay, so it's really important that you guys know that depending on what lender you talk to, what you are told about VA can differ dramatically, just like the rates. We talk about the rates all the time. Shop the rates, shop the fees, shop the rates, shop the fees. Shop the lender overlays, okay? Seriously, you know, I saw so many people in 2020, 2021 who didn't refinance because they were waiting for a magical credit score that three of the big boys had said was the minimum that was bullshit. You know, here's the thing. Number one, with VA, is there a credit score requirement? No, but lenders have overlays and they differ. So ours is 580. We need 580 or above. Apparently, we can actually do some exceptions below that but it's very rare. Um, whereas some lenders say you have to be over 620, some lenders say over 640. And if you talk to them on the phone, you think that's all of VA. And it's not, it's a lender overlay. Now, the other thing that can happen, especially when you get into those big VA loans, like the million dollar, million and a half, $2 million, you'll have lenders say, oh, we can do it, but your credit score has to be over 760. Lender overlay, your debt to income has to be under 12. Like, Whatever, right? Lender overlay. You know, anytime we're talking about a debt to income restriction, it's a lender overlay. The way that VA actually works is VA does not have a debt to income that you have to meet. You have to be able to get what's known as desktop underwriting approval. So you can see, we can see desktop underwriting approved files at 60, 65%, 70. Do I suggest that? No, no, I really don't, guys. Not unless you have some sort of income like a spouse and we're not using their income. It is a recipe for house poverty, but it can get accepted through the system. However, there's some lenders that aren't comfortable with that at all. So they'll say no loan over 45% debt to income. Is that the VA guideline? No, that's the lender overlay. So the reason I'm doing this video kind of passionately is because I want you guys to think about when a lender's telling you something like, oh, it can't be over this, or oh, it has to be this. You wanna go, is that a lender overlay? And if the lender's like, what? Yeah, I mean, look, in all honesty, like, does your average lender even know that it's an overlay? Probably not. Like, the reason I know it's an overlay is because I basically spend most of my time when someone tells me no to something going, is this an overlay? Why do we have this overlay? <laughs> Can you get rid of this overlay? You know, so it's not common in the industry that they may even realize it's an overlay. I remember when I first started in the business, I was at Countrywide, then Bank of America. And Bank of America would not go over, I believe at the time it was 45% on FHA and VA. And I constantly had brokers telling me, Jen, we're getting, and I would tell clients, you don't qualify. And they'd be like, they do. It's at 55. I'd be like, you can't do that. We're at 45. No, no, no. It was an overlay, guys. I was a baby. It was an overlay. Okay. So it's important that whenever you guys are being told no or this specific rule, feel free to call me and check. And I'll tell you if it's an overlay or not. I'll be like, yeah, that makes sense. Or no, that's total bullshit. Or yes, or no, you know, that makes sense. That's crazy. Right. We'll always tell you what we see from our part and I'll always be honest about our overlays. Right. We don't have a lot, but we do have some, you know, and can there be exceptions to the overlays? Yeah, totally. If it makes sense, like no problem. You know, I work at a company where we want to do as as many VA loans as possible that help people. And the key is that help people. Do we want to do all the VA loans that are going to put you in a harmful position? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But everything that's going to help you a hundred percent. So I want you guys to know that lender overlays exist. The VA guidelines themselves are pretty loose, but there are lender overlays that exist. Um, if you guys haven't seen my video on residual income, you should watch that one because that's another VA factor. Um, lenders can have some play to overlays on that, but that comes into play as well. So as always, thank you for watching. I am licensed in 48 states everywhere but Utah or Rhode Island. So if you need a VA loan and you want to work it with a team that does it all day, every day, please reach out. We will take fantastic care of you guys. Thanks.